place once the fitting is screwed in place. We can just easily feed the feed through through the opening and screw it tight. Then. Today's mission, seal on feed-through. Create additional protection on the feed-through installed in the aquarium glass of the filter tank, connecting it to the drain of the IBCs. Tip, some adhesives need time to cure. Okay, let's see. Last time Conrad corrected the ball valve switch, which is now possible to turn properly. We can get rid of the mask since there won't be toxic fumes today. And we definitely need a different tool. Let's get rid of the Corona Mask 2 since the law changed and it's not mandatory anymore. <laughs> you can select different mask styles. Which one did you rock during the pandemic? Uh, no nose was definitely very popular but not very useful. Let's change the tool to some kind of glue. Uh, yes, silicone. Let's go. When we connected the plumbing in a previous episode, the seal on the feed through was tight enough to leave as is. But since I'm not in the space for the next week and the silicone needs about a week to cure, it's a good use of time to apply it now just in case. It turned out the already opened silicone cartridge has unfortunately hardened and cannot be used anymore. I usually order them online, but it will not be arriving before I leave, so a trip to the local hardware store was much quicker. Before first usage, the cartridge needs to be cut open and the nozzle can be screwed on top. I like the end cap on the nozzle. It's much more professional than the one made from tape I used last time. Let's remove the piping to get to the glass where the silicone will be applied to. Since there are aquatic organisms in the system and water has immediate contact to the silicone, it's important to use special aquarium silicone to prevent an extinction event and clean the glass so that the seal will be tight. I use transparent silicone here, but any color of aquarium silicone will do the job. I usually use the transparent version because it's not as visible, especially the smearing, which can be removed later, but if you miss a spot, it does not look as bad as with the black silicone in my opinion. Since there is a loose fit for the feed-through, silicone is applied on both sides on the glass. This is just a rough outline of silicone to get some material on the surface and it will be in the right place once the fitting is screwed in place. We can just easily feed the feed through through the opening and screw it tight. Some of the silicone sticks to the thread of the feed through, but this does not really matter, since it will just cure inside of the thread, creating an additional seal here. Once this is done, you can use some liquid soap to smoothen the silicone with your finger but usually you will get some on your hand anyway. I will just screw the fitting back on now with the silicone still flexible. It can then cure assembled and the... Uh, what's this? A spider. We are working here, Mr. Spider. Please go hang around somewhere else. Thank you. I will just screw the fitting back on now with the silicone still flexible. It can then cure with the pipes assembled and the screwing motion will not be transferred onto the seal, which might create a leak otherwise. And this is how it looks now. I think this will work just fine. Fast forward to one week later. It turned out the silicon seal is leak proof and works as planned. Back to now. Like I said earlier, even with the soap, I got some silicone on my fingers, which can easily be removed with some toilet paper or similar. And also the nozzle needs some cleaning as well. I hope the end cap will prevent the silicone from curing this time. It seems the cap is airtight once twisted onto the nozzle. This concludes today's mission. Subscribe for the next episode and leave some feedback in the comments below. You could also check out this video. Or if it's your birthday, maybe this one. Either.